And although the storm has passed, it left behind some strong winds and floodwaters hanging around the area for today. Fox News reporter Tori Thornton is live now on Dolphin Island with more details. And Toy, I understand you've been all over the place today. Yeah, we certainly have Lanise and uh, many areas are still dealing with the aftermath of this storm, including places like right here where I am on Dolphin Island right now. Let me show you where we're standing. We're standing on the street. You can see not a lot of flooding here exactly where we are, but there's a checkpoint right there because as you go past this point headed to the west end of the island, the water gets higher and higher. Now, as you probably know, Dolphin Island again is one of those places prone to flooding. Here's some video from yesterday. As parts of the island had to deal with again that high water coming in high water really pushing in starting Saturday morning including the causeway entrance to Dolphin Island which had to be closed for a while yesterday and today some of that water is still hanging around again roadway roadways closed like this one police guarding this certain areas again just like this one allowing residents only with four wheel drive to pass I spoke to a family visiting this area today they were scheduled to be here Saturday but waited it out until today. They're happy to be here, but the flood waters were certainly a surprise. When we heard about the storm, we thought we'd just ride it out a few days at home. On the way in on 193, the waves were just about to break over because it was high tide about 1230. I also want to show you this, the causeway on Highway 90 between um, Spanish uh, between uh, Baldwin County and Mobile County um, also seeing major flooding today. Uh, just take a look at this video. The causeway has been shut down completely and according to LDOT, it's unclear when it will be back open. This video again also showing a car that was uh, trapped in that area, a car that's pretty much submerged with water. And again, LDOT certainly not knowing when that water will recede and when that will open back up. We will certainly have a live report from there and I will have another live report from here. Going to show you more coming up at five. We're now reporting live uh, on Dolphin Island, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News.